So ladies and gentlemen, we have returned with the second contest of the day. And it is once again at the Amaldatta Stadium, a contest between Chobaga High School versus Behala Arya Vidya Mandir. Two very fine sides, two schools who will not let even an iota of space to the opposition without some intense fight. Here's a quick word from the referee, just ensuring that everything is explained about the toss. So that's the news from the center. Behala Arya Vidya Mandir has won the toss and have chosen a kickoff there. There's a starting 11 of Chobaga High School. Debrat Sarkar, Samrat Sardar, Ali Hossein Khan, Arjit Mondol, Oyan Mahato, Sohel Mondol, King Shuk Biswas, Ali Buddin Molla, Sohel Laskar, Shubankar Munda and Reek Biswas. I'll we'll try and show you the playing 11 of Behala Arya Vidya Mandir, another very talented side. Here's the playing 11 of Behala Arya Vidya Mandir. Devdatta Samadhar, Aritra Mitra, Abdul Arman, Sarit Sakar Maiti, Chandra Paul, Dev Dom, Sayan Saha, Sayan Saha, Sayan Chaudhary, Sheikh Atif Ali, Sheikh Abdul Mandat. So we have two Sayan Sahas in Behala Arya Vidya Mandir. A quick discussion between the starting 11 of both the sides. Both teams know that they'll have to put a fight. They'll have to put a fight to stay in the hunt. They'll have to put a fight to take it right at the heart of the opposition. A few final words being said. These are youngsters and they are here to win. And they have a lot of hope, with a lot of courage, with a lot of aspirations. And it's good to see this. They are starting young. They're embracing the game. Most importantly, they are playing it at a site a high potential platform. On your screen, from the right to the left, we have the team in blue, and that is Chobaga High School. Embedded on your screen, from the left to the right, will be the team in white, that is Behala Arya Vidya Mandir. The referee quickly taking a note of his surroundings, and it's 
Chobaga High School for kickstarted affairs with the kickoff. We have 90 minutes of incredible footballing contest coming up with us. Now, this is a bit of a sloppy move there early in the game, wanting to pass it towards the far right. But somehow, uh, he misconnected the ball and the goalkeeper had to step up to ensure that the pass was transitioned. Now, Chawaga High School has a move forward. There's a fine one too. Some fine touch football being played. Bial Arya with Damandir has snatched away the ball and now has a chance to counter. But the pass was intercepted there. And he can comfortably back, uh, pass the ball behind. Now sends it downtown. Just taking his time here. Now quickly sends it forward. This can be a fine run there from Chobaga High School on the left. Waiting for help. But eventually a poor ball but poor defending there. Allowing Chobaga High School to recover the ball. Despite the ball not really having the sting in it. And now the launches is cross forward. The goalkeeper comes out, spells it. And Chobaga High School has taken an early lead. Another goalkeeping howler. We've seen nine goals in the first match. And we have seen an early one in the second as well. This is what we call poaching instincts in football. And showing an exemplary version of poaching instincts. We have Chobaga High School. Securing an early lead, drawing first blood. Here's the cross. Straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. Some other goalkeeper, instead of collecting it, wanted to palm it away. Then that was the mistake. He couldn't palm it far enough. Palms it straight at the head of the Chobaga school defender or attacker. And he comfortably heads it home with the entire net gaping at him. So two minutes in the clock when we have the first goal of the day. Chobaga has the ball back in their favor. They look around for Arya Vidyamandir to commit. And they'll accordingly up their ante. A bit fortunate, but nonetheless, what matters is goals. Now, it doesn't matter how it comes. And there's a foul. And the foul at a very crucial juncture. And the question is is it outside? Yeah, it's just outside the box. It won't be a penalty. It seemed as if the player has just rolled in, but it seemed that the attack happened at the edge of the box. So, further pressure there from Chobaga High School. It was Arijit Mandal with the opener. A chance for them to compound that lead. A free kick at a dangerous position now. Floats that in at the far post, uh, but it went out of the bounds and went out of play as well. So, now this is the chance here for Behal Arya with Damandir to calm things down a bit. They are a bit too shaken up with that first goal. Now, things like these keep on happening. Uh, you just need to calm down and you just need to focus from there on and build accordingly. Uh, a very, very tame goal kick in the end. The ball falling back in favor of Chobaga School. Plays it brilliantly. Stitches another ball forward, but this time taken away. Ball's fallen back for Chobaga. Sends it forward. That's a nice little side flick. Uh, a bit too much weight on that flick that allows Behala Arya Vidyamandir to actually regroup now. Again, shooting scope there for. Chobaga High School, but eventually they'll sail over the woodwork. We are headed towards the first five minutes of the game. And as things stand, it's Chobaga High School with that opener, or with that first goal. And Bihala Arya Vidyamandir still ensuring the prayers are done right so that the goal kick doesn't end up falling to the opposition because a goal kick falling to your opposition that to at close range that can be catastrophic. <laughs> we all have our beliefs. Right now, Chobaga High School believe that they have a lot more goals than that just that opener. They started finding the space, they started finding their stride, and they started finding the players on the far right and on the far left, making decent use of the wings. Sends the ball forward, but again, headed clear there for a corner. 
another shy at goal as it's a set piece. Not an early set piece. We're just five minutes in the game and it seems that Chawaga High School have already started dictating the terms. Sends that, but headed away. Another shooting space takes the shot and finds the back of the net. Miles given to the opposition. You cannot even give an inch in Verin. Bihala Arya Vidya Mandir had simply imparted miles to their counterparts. And you know the result. But this was the shot there. Headed clear, not far enough. Look at the defender standing. He didn't even bother to put himself in the line of the ball. Instead, he moved away from the line, blocked the vision of the goalkeeper, and eventually conceded a goal. So it's just five minutes on the clock. Then it's already 2 0 in favor. Of Chobaga High School. And they keep on coming forward. Now do we have another goal fest? We have seen nine goals in the opener. And already two scored in the first six minutes of the second game as well. And there's a foul. The referee instantly, the linesman raising his flag. Letting the referee know. That it wasn't a neatly stitched tackle. That will give them a free kick. Even though it's not... So it's Sohel Mandal with the goal. It was Arijit who got that opener. And then it was Sohel who got the second goal of the day. And this is a chance. Flips that in. Another chance. Header. But this time the goalkeeper will collect it comfortably. He's asking his players to go up. Take their mantle. He'll do the rest. Takes a decent goal kick now. Sends it downtown. But comfortably collected again. By Chobaga High School now. Chobaga coming forward. Stepping their game up. A fine turn. But eventually had a bit too much on the turn. And will concede the possession. Chobaga has the ball back. Has some space ahead of them. Uh, that was a very decent uh, pass, like an effort to send that ball forward. The intent was right. The idea was right. The execution wasn't. Now, at the end of the day, you need to have all three in place for something to be perfect in football. The rest all is pretty much dependent on a bit of destiny, a bit of fortune as well. Uh, now, those are pretty much the circumstantial factors, the secondary factors that come into the game. Currently, as things stand, it's more about the execution with the right intent, of course. It's another free kick, another opportunity to get the ball inside the box. And this is straight down the central channel. Samrat with the free kick takes a long ranger and the goalkeeper will comfortably correct. Probably with time, he currently is a bit shaken, of course. He's conceded two goals. Uh, with time, he'll definitely grow in the game and uh, he'll build on with his confidence. He'll grow in stature as well. But at the moment, it seems that Chobaga High School has a dent on his confidence. And the men in blue teeming in the opposition half and uh, the number of attacks that we have already seen and we are still not 10 minutes in the contest. It kind of clearly gives out the fact that it is the men in blue who will probably call all the shots in the game. There's a ball on the far right. Another chance to put in a center, but not well taken center. And eventually cleared away. But it won't go all the way. Another cross comes looping in the box. Chobaga School still has the ball. It has been regained now by Behal Arya Vidya Mandir. And the referee has blown the whistle. Most likely it was a foul. Quickly sends it forward. Stitches a pass back.
Well, we see this, it's an honest request from our end uh, that this contest is brought to you by the official YouTube channel of uh, Reliance Foundation Youth Sports. The flag's gone up, so it's an offside. So if you can, kindly do like, share, and subscribe to the official YouTube channel of Reliance Foundation Youth Sports because that will allow us or give us the required encouragement so we can keep on bringing these games live to you. Now the ball is sent forward. Now they'll have some defending to do and they do it. There's another long ball there, sent from the right. But it won't go far away. It'll, it'll end up being deposited at the feet of Chobaga High School now. Chobaga comfortably. Uh, surging forward. It doesn't feel like they'll save a much supremacy here. Another ball sent forward. But again, not too much avail there. Cross field ball. Can they get at the end of it? The defense hasn't really taken care of it. Apparently, Chobaga is still there in the hunt and does get to the end of the ball. Now sends the ball to the far right, but the defender now seemed clear enough about his idea. Eventually, ended up giving away a corner. Taking their time. A chance for them. Now takes the corner quickly. Shooting space there, but they delayed a bit too much. That allowed Behal Arya Vidyamandir to crowd them over. They have the ball back. Sends a scarring cross forward, but again, headed clear by Behal Arya Vidyamandir. They'll send the ball downtown, but only as far as the opposition attackers. Uh, goes for a shot from range, but had a bit too much on the ball, and that eventually goes out of play. Another chance there for. Chobaga High School takes the shot on the turn. Just outside. Almost. Almost there. A bit unfortunate. It's never too easy to take a shot on the turn. But again, the idea here deserves a special plaudit here. Bit of a push and a shove. But eventually goes out of play for a throw in. This is a chance for Shobaga School to break free again. They have the required numbers forward. Send the ball at the far right. The player converging from the right. Sends in the cross. And that's number three for Shobaga School. It's getting now. It's getting a lot more devastating for Behal Arya Vidya Mandir. Nobody stopping them. Nobody cutting the pass short. The goalkeeper not having a clue whether to go for the ball. Or probably stand his ground. Look at this chance. The defense way too slow. Allows the pass. And goal number three there for Chobaga High International School. A fine finish to be honest.
a decent link up in cases like these in process like these the link up does all the difference and it is a link up like this that eventually puts an end uh, to the move in the form of a goal so it's just 15 minutes on the clock and Chobaga is our 3-0 ahead in the game and they keep on coming back they'll have to clear the lines he does So another opportunity comes knocking there. Can he control it? He's unable to control that. So sad enough. And the center ball has been snatched away by Bihar Arya with Yamandir. The referee says, get back up. The ball's still in possession. Decent piece of footwork there. There's a bit of a wiggle there. And wiggles past his opposition as well. With consummate ease actually. This is a chance for Chobaga again. They like to build from the back. And this is a chance to break free. Can they use that wing? It's a decent run from number three. Looking for a shot. Takes the shot and rattles the woodwork. A resultant effort goes wide. It was Arijit Mandal with a brace. The third goal of the day was scored by Arijit. So that's his second of the day. Quite a fine effort nonetheless. Look at this. Another fine cross. It was Arijit pulling the strings of destruction again, but unfortunate. But the woodwork came in the way. That's a goal kick. A bit of a scrambled affair at the moment now. Both the teams pretty clueless. Can they build an attack from there? It's a race for the goalkeeper and the attacker. Eventually the attacker kind of gave up early. Than the goalkeeper and that is exactly what Chance again. Pass created there. Fine inside dodge, but the defense was ready and alert. And the free kick has been given away. So most likely, referee blowing the whistle. Not happy what he saw there. The player still down, clutching onto his knee. Breaking from a very dangerous position, to be honest. They're waiting their time and they make it 4 0 at the brink of 20 minutes. Only time will say that. There's a chance for sure. The referee dishing out some last minute instructions.
goes for the free kick, tries to curl it, and eventually uh, loses out as the ball uh, goes out of play. The long kick taken, but not well cleared. Oh, there's a bit of a uh, bit of a tussle and a bit of a tumble too uh, that just happened. Uh, it was mainly due to balance, so there wasn't any foul play involved. Now this is a chance for Bihar Arya Vidya Mandir to break, but they eventually gave up on possession. Another player is down and he's been treated to. Few instructions were given out there while the player is still being treated by the medical. It's good to see that he's back on his feet. Yes, the player is eventually back on his feet and the referee resumes the play. And Chobaga High School plays it back to their own defense. Behala Arya Vidya Mandir still will have some catching up to do. They are three goals down. It isn't that the game's not over yet. Definitely they'll have a lot of time left in their arsenal. But right now it doesn't seem like because Chobaga keeps on coming back at their opposition half. The game has now taken a bit of a rotation shape now with both the sides just taking a slight back seat, especially uh, the guys in blue and it's a Chobaga. There was a push there and a bit of a heated altercation, the referee stepping in quickly. They've sent a long ball now. Chobaga wants to explore that right channel. Eventually does, but the flag's gone off. They're taking their time, apparently. Bihala Arya Vidya Mandir. They know that they have an entire half of football waiting for them, so they do not need to hurry right now. We we'll just need to be calm. They just need to uh, they just need to have their composure. They cannot concede anymore. They'll have to rally their defenses, that's for sure. This is for the first time. The goalkeeper had to hurry for uh, Chobaga school. He didn't have to do much in the first half.
Chobaga still has the ball. However, a pretty defensive work here. Chobaga on the move again. For the last few, uh, for the past few minutes, uh, they haven't been the same dynamic unit that they were initially because most likely it's due to exhaustion of course things like these keep on happening you just have to keep your calm another free kick has been awarded there and there's a play down So it won't be a free kick, it's basically a drop because the player was down already. But then Chobaga school won't hesitate in going forward, but decent defending from, uh, from Behal Arya with Yamandar. But Chobaga will have the ball back in their control. They're looking for some shooting space. Have got some. The defense fell asleep. And they'll have to concede a fourth now. Poor defending. Left entirely to the goalkeeper to save it. But it's not easy for the goalkeeper either. To save a ball from that range. We'll quickly try and show you a replay. Here's a replay. A fine ball. A shot taken. Pretty difficult for the goalkeeper. It was Ali who set it up. And Shubhajit with the shot. Most likely Shubhajit. I'll, I'll confirm the name though. It wasn't clear from this range, however. 27 minutes and Chobaga has a 4-0 lead at the moment. It seems that uh, Bihal Arya Vidya Mandir, they're now stooping, on, uh, stooping down in their body language. And uh, it isn't a pretty categorical sign for their sake, at least going by the context of the match and this is the 13th goal of the day already and we are just in the second game and we are still to witness more than a half of contest coming forward and again poor piece of defending allowing Chobaga to come forward another chance takes a shot and this time the goalkeeper saves it should have done better with the shot because the goalkeeper was already down yeah it was Shubhankar Munda not Shubhajit I'm sorry Shubankar Munda got the goal and Ali who set him up. But now it's turn again for Chobaga to break free, search forward and probably find a, uh, an outing, an outlet or two. Ali still with the ball there. Now there's a ball played on the far right. Can he reach it? He won't be able to reach it. So go out for a goal kick now in favor of Behal Arya Vidyamandir. It was an offside, so uh, yeah, it was an offside, so it's going to be a free kick. It was not a goal kick. It seems that the press of Chobaga school is pretty much high, that if goalkeeper will have to hurry, eventually does, but the resultant goal kick or the resultant kick isn't a pretty decent one. As it has again allowed Chobaga to go in. Here comes the cross. Another brilliant save from the goalkeeper. All kudos to the goalkeeper this time. This was an almost impossible save to pull at least from such a point blank range. But however, the goalkeeper throwing his body on the line, forcing the player to bundle his effort into him. Then that doesn't daunt Chobaga at the moment. They know that they have all the attacking intent. They have all the reasons to go forward. And they'll keep on going forward. They'll keep on driving forth. Now again, tries to play the player on the far right. The goalkeeper comes out of his line and leaves the entire goal empty. And the ball has gone in the back of the net. It's 5-0 now. 
uh, we're still not sure whether it's a goal or uh, the flag has gone up. It's actually a goal. So yes, there comes the confirmation. We'll show you the replay. The goalkeeper came out entirely oblivious that he was not able to control the ball, not even aware that there was a player right behind him waiting for the ball to be passed. The entire goal was left open. And you pay the price. It's 5-0 already. And we have witnessed 14 goals today with an entire game and a half and 15 minutes from this first half to go. Another fine ball sent forward to the right. Chobaga International, Chobaga School just trying to create something for themselves. They lost footing there and conceded the possession. They managed to get the ball back in their favor. Chobaga comes at it again. Takes a swift turn now. Passes it to the player, takes the shot. This time another fine save from the goalkeeper. It was Reek Biswas with the fifth goal for Chobaga. And they are right now running riots. Running riot over Bihal Arya Vidya Mandir. They still have 15 minutes or more, almost 14 minutes of uh, torment to witness if that's how the game has actually gone through. It's not an understatement using the word torment here because they are being tormented. And now again, another false move. Can they keep the ball in play? Uh, that will eventually. And it, it was actually kept in play and it went out for a corner. Now It went out for a throw in now. So it's pretty surprising. He actually slipped. And then he managed to get back to his footing. So somehow the defender still couldn't cut him short. Has a chance to put in a cross in the center. Poor defending, overconfidence, thinking that he can stop the ball. There's some shooting space ahead of him. A decent dummy takes the shot. What a goal! It would definitely be a screamer. And it's half dozen now for Chobaga School and Bihalaria with the Mandir are falling in shambles here. This will definitely be the best goal of the match. Look at this turn. Look at this dummy. Takes the shot from the outside. And what a screaming finish into the back of the net. It's just 32 minutes on the clock. And we have a 6-0 lead. It's Shobaga school with 6. Well, in Bihal Arya with Yamandir. I have still to open the account. In fact, they're still to get a shot on target. Somehow saying that they are low on energy. They don't have much with which they can celebrate. They don't have much to cheer about. They don't have much to smile about, to be happy about. And it's all happening. And whatever is happening is happening for the men in blue. And once again, it was Sohel Mandal with that second strike or with his second strike of the, of the day. Another chance for Chobaga School. Can they get that number seven? The goalkeeper comes out and it's gone through the legs of the goalkeeper and it's goal number seven. This is now turning into a humiliation for Bihala Aryavid Yamandir. They simply do not have an answer to the super salvo of Chobaga School at the moment. It's 7-0. And Bihal Arya Vidya Mandir right now plugging in with the substitute here. It's number 12 who's going to come in. Arijit is making way there. Or rather uh, going in. Now, this was a goal down. This is, I mean, look at this goal again. What a fine finish. And it was another Arijit who got the goal, actually. He got goal number seven. Do they have more in them even before the first half ends? What a day we are witnessing. A goal fest. And Chobaga comes at it again. This time from the right, the goalkeeper comes out. This time eventually manages to pull off the save. He has been beaten not once but thrice in the last three occasions. And all three of them has been deposited in the back of the net. We are almost down to the final 10 minutes of the day. Sends a ball. The defender couldn't clear it. Chobaga almost on the brink of launching another attack. 
but will be happy to settle the ball or rather to be settled with a free kick at the far end gets a chance to drive forward they still have the ball but it goes out of play it's time for them they launch it forward as well they're looking for a few options now quickly stitches together one but goes straight at the player they have a chance to move forward now and they utilize it it seems that they won't they have been pushed out now still of the possession now it's Chobaka again with the ball they want to move forward sends it forward to the far right he speeds his way past his defender comfortably the goalkeeper coming out of the line leaving the entire goal open and conceding a number eight it has been the story for the last four occasions and the goalkeeper keeps on committing that same error over and over again despite coming out of the line despite having a sense of outing he hasn't timed his runs and he definitely hasn't got a proper hold of the ball once again similar story and it seems that it's goal after goal after goal after goal and and it's like now a garland of humiliation a garland of goals in the previous game we saw Gangadhar Vidyapur, Gangadhar Vidya Mandir scoring nine across the span of two halves. Wherein we are just 36 minutes so far in the first half. And Chobaga School has already put eight past their opposition. And somehow they are now lacking the energy to go forward. Not exactly Chobaga, it was Behala uh, Vidya Arya Mandir. Another chance now sent forward from the left. Comes in and the ball goes into the back of the net. Simple collection for the goalkeeper. He couldn't keep it out. He's ended up depositing in his own net. It's 9-0 now. What exactly is unfolding there? Would you believe that? Now, this was the chance again. Simple effort. Very meek effort. The goalkeeper actually out of his position. And eventually ends up considering possession for the same. Uh, considering a goal. Horrendous goalkeeping. Absolutely horrendous. And Chobaga keeps on coming at their opposition. They are not done yet. They want more goals even before the halftime is done. And again, another chance. The referee says there's a bit of a foul play involved. There's a bit of a push most likely. That was not uh, liked by the referee. So he calls a bit of free kick there. <laughs> Now, just in case, so it was Ali Hussein Khan who got that uh, ninth goal for his team. Now, Chobaga comes at it again, looking for a tenth, but this time they'll deposit the pass. Chance for Bihar Arya Vidya Mandir to get something for themselves with the flag has gone up so let me just give you a heads up as we have already seen nine goals in the game uh, while giving a heads up like the highest margin in which a football match has been won it was done by AS Adima in a match in 2002 where they got the better of state Olympic LM Reign by 149-0. Well, that mark, uh, that target is definitely uh, not coming over, or rather being plugged because we're already uh, 39 minutes in the first half. But in international football, if you would have a take a look, it was Australia who put 31 goals past American Samoa in 2001 to register the highest number of goals scored in an international fixture. Now, has Chobaga gotten them to score at least more? Another goal there, just where we say it's goal number 10. A pass coming from the left and comfortably tapped home from the right. The highest that we have so far seen in youth football was 18-0. Are we going to see the same feat being replicated or even more than that. Apparently, it seems so. Another pass. 
the defender. The defender is literally going to nap off. Nobody marking the player at the far right. And Chobaga has a 10-0 lead over Bihal Arya with Yamandir. And we still have five minutes to go from the end of the half. Now the ball sent forward. Chobaga once again with the ball now. Playing it a bit too back. Just taking a back seat. Allowing their players to breathe. They know that they have a lead that cannot even uh, be taken care of or that cannot be wiped off even in the wildest of nightmares. At least with the kind of football uh, that Bihal Arya with Jamandir has stitched so far. He has a chance. He has a long ball sent forward. And Bihal Arya with Jamandir cannot clear their lines. Oh, there was a tug. The referee instantly blowing the whistle, giving away a free kick. Fortunate, however, that the tuck came just outside the box. Yeah, I guess he, have, he was forced. He didn't have much to do there. Because we have seen how the wings have been explored. The player is still down in pain. Eventually gets back up on his feet. Another crucial juncture to get a free kick in. Will it be number 11 for Chobaga High School? Only time will say that. Referee instructing the wall to come back. Pretty decent range of the goal. Most likely he won't be going all the way from there himself. He'll be looking for some support in the center. It was Ayan Mahato with the 10th goal for Chobaga School. He takes a short one. Gives a shooting space there, but it took a deflection. It goes out for a corner now. We are in the final three minutes of the first half and Chobaga School has taken a 10-0 lead. Do we have more goals? Only time will say that. Floats that ball in. Tries to go for a header, but he couldn't. There's a lot of players ahead of him. Eventually takes a shot and it goes out for a goal kick. It's all happening here, even though all of it is happening in favor of Chobaga school themselves. There's nothing that Vihala Arya Vidyamandir can do at the moment. We are simply spectators of the pain that has been unfurled ahead of them or against them, upon them if you would say. Another cross comes floating in. The ball still with Chobaga School. They twist and they turn and they fade away. They're probably doing everything you can uh, when you're leading in the game. But when you lead by 10 goals to nil, when there's no worry on your head, you know that you have secured whatever was required. All you need to do is just, is just sit back and relax. Place the ball forward. Bit of a push and shove, however. Ball will go back in favor of Chobaga. A lovely little dummy there. One, two. Tries to go for the cross. Sends in the cross. Nobody at the far right trying to get hold of the ball. Now there's a player again. Crosses down that right. Uh, he just overstepped himself. He just overstepped himself. A bit too unfortunate here, if we may say. The referee has blown the whistle uh, for something there. Ball has been sent for a drop there. And this time tries to take a ball long ranger, but 
Eventually, the ball's fallen back for Chobaga School again. And again, they try and use that left flank, takes a quick turn, gets some shooting space ahead of them, takes the shot, drags it slightly wide. The goalkeeper was definitely rooted to the spot. But this time, the ball will curl away. And that's the half time whistle. It's 10-0 in favor of Chobaga High School at the moment. Arijit Mondol with a brace. Sohel Mondol with a strike. Subankar Munda with a strike. Rik Biswas with a strike. We'll shortly return for the second half of the game. Till then, stay tuned, stay posted.
We are back for the second half of the contest. The first half between Chobaga High School and Bihal Arya Vidya Mandir has ended with Chobaga High School putting 10 goals past their counterparts. And now it's a matter of time, it's a matter of fact that whether the change of halves can see a change in momentum, can Bihal Arya Vidya Mandir attack with renewed vim and vigor? Do we have a historic turnaround for the ages in the making? Or is it going to be the same old tradition wherein the men in blue keeps on attacking, keeps on uh, quizzing their counterparts and leaves them in shambles? So referee having a quick look at his watch and says, let the game begin. The game has started off as things stand. Chobaga High School with a 10-0 lead for Bihar Arya with Yamandir. They've definitely started with a bit of a press even though they won't get to the end of the ball. And Chobaga High School keeping the ball well in their control. Sends another ball forward. The defenders is trying to keep the ball in play and the referee has raised his flag. The linesman has raised his flag and the referee's blown his whistle. There's a chance to send the ball forward, to send the ball downtown. Now this is a chance for Bihal Arya Vidya Mandir. For the first time, they have some shooting space ahead of them. But Chobaga School making sure that no harm was done and they can actually launch an attack forward. A decent piece of defending nonetheless ensures that the ball doesn't fall back for Chobaga School. Now Bihal Arya Vidya Mandir has a chance to break, but it doesn't seem like fortune will smile their way. Fine ball being stitched inside. Now sends another ball forward. The goalkeeper coming off his line there, but the, before the player could have stuck it, the flag has gone up. So a free kick now in favor of Bihal Arya Vidya Mandir, who have seemed a bit too solid for the first two minutes of the contest they like to keep things that way they won't like to concede from here on it's as simple as that it was an offside while they tried to move they've got the ball twice now in the opposition half at least a feed that they'll be happy about after that abysmal display in that first half. Especially in the final 15 minutes of the contest. I mean, the last 15 minutes of the first half literally saw the team falling apart in shambles. Sends another long ball forward there. He... Did a decent job of turning around and keeping the ball away from the opposition. Now, before he could actually take a shy at the ball, we had Arya with him on the defense, ensuring that they didn't allow him that space. Another fine ball on the right. Oh, he couldn't take that turn. He most likely, he had a twist there. Fortunate that it didn't end up hurting him a lot because if a twist happens in those junctures, especially when you're taking a turn for the shot, it can be very painful. Very, very painful. He goes past the man there, finds the ball on the right, but this time the flag has gone up. So, yes, the first five minutes of the second half, they'll have their goal intact. There's still 45 seconds to go, 40 seconds. They'll most like to play this game in parts. That's what the idea of uh, Bihal Arya Vidya Mandir would be. Launches the ball downtown. Uh, nobody. 
an attempt for an acrobatic back volley eventually it was haywire in the end Chobaga school has the ball in their control sends the ball forward again this time the goalkeeper comes out and the flag has again went up so the second half has seen them not able to time their runs properly that has led to three offsides Mihala Arya Vidya Mandir just wanting to get the ball in their favor. They have they have a throw in at a very critical juncture there. The second half has seen them starting on a good note. Now the game most likely is beyond their reach, that's for sure. But probably they'll be playing for the half. If they can win that half, that'll be a massive achievement, especially after the display in the first half. Because as we know that football is a game of momentum. So maybe maybe that the deficit that they have right now it's too overwhelmingly odd but at least if they can win the second half they'll have that confidence in themselves because this is a league they have a long format they have a long number of games coming ahead of them so they will have to keep themselves pushing and pressing harder than ever they'll have to create a statement for themselves that yes we can do that they have to believe in themselves and that is exactly why it's important that they are decent in the second half. A fine ball there. However, now for Chobaga School, who sends it across, but this time the goalkeeper comes out of his line and comfortably collects it. A quick swivel down there. And now sent forward. Here's a fine run. But it'll go out. The ball still stays. And the flag has gone up again. Well, has been launched downtown again. This is the chance for Chobaba again. Oh, they almost got at the end of it. Let's play back to that goalkeeper. Well, the game has started on a bit of a reticent half after the incredible action in the first half that we witnessed. Uh, it's quite okay now that both the teams just taking a bit of a break. But again, Chobaga breaking from the right, a chance, gets a connection, finds the back of the net. And they've eventually opened the scoring in the second half. It's 11-0 now in their favour. Just when it felt that both the teams are a bit on the reticent side. The goalkeeper actually should have put his body in the line and collected it. This was a pretty straightforward ball there. Eventually, the goalkeeper had no idea where it was, where the ball was, and the defender neither.
Here's a chance again. For Chobaga School. They have the ball in their control. A few bodies falling on the line there. Again, before they could send the ball in for a cross. The defender stepping in with the foot and ensuring that they are trading it away for a corner. Well, there's a player down on the field and the medico is being summoned over. It seems that he isn't too much pain. Player still down and is still getting some uh, treatment out there. Here's the corner now uh, that we'll return to. We are almost on the brink of completing one hour of football. And we have seen 11 goals being scored. There's a change happening. It's Sohan who goes in for Bihar Arya Vidya Mandir. Floats in that corner, but couldn't really connect with the header and eventually it bounced off the woodwork. So, had it been a couple of inches inside, the ball could have very well landed inside the goal and the goalkeeper would have to produce a save. And now... Chobaga School wanted to use that right channel, uh, but pretty decent defending, cutting it short. Now takes it a bit too far away and eventually deposits it at the opposition's feet. Aritta Mitra was uh, taken off and it was Sekh Shohan who's made way for Bihal Arya Vidya Mandir. The 
The second half has relatively been silent than the first. This time, however, straight down the gallery of the goalkeeper. Another long ranger effort. The goalkeeper was off his line, but this time covers decent ground and eventually collects it. Takes a turn or a two, and the ball rolls out of play. Uses the central channel. They're still down that center. Decent piece of work out muscles the defenders, takes the shot, but gets it off target. gone out there for another corner most likely yes it has no it's gonna be a goal kick at the end of the day so yeah Bit of an urgent piece of defending there from the goalkeeper. Had to be. Because uh, it has been a pretty decent half so far, honestly speaking. This will be the first half's performance. So, Chobaba School has actually not got that free cascade of attacks that they actually managed to stitch together in the first half. The second half, they've been a bit too much on the reticent side. The ball down, it stitches it forward again, twists and turns, passes it back. The goalkeeper comfortably reaching at the end of it. There was another change that was made uh, for Chobaga School. Reek Biswas was brought off, and Asif Molla was brought on. The refined ball being pushed forward, but then they do not have the required attacking force. So they traded it away for a corner now. A short corner, quickly taken. Another cross comes in. There's a play, heads it and heads it home. It's a dozen now for Chobaga School, and they waited for a while. And it's the 21st goal of the day. We'll quickly try and show you here. A fine, this took the send, took the corner very quickly. That is exactly what led to the unraveling, the further unraveling of Behal Arya Vidya Mandir. We have 26 more minutes of action remaining, or 25 more minutes of action remaining. And it seems that Behal Arya Vidya Mandir will have to put up some solid defending if they have to avert 
any further downfall, any further landslide. I mean, the downfall has already happened. The descent into chaos has already taken place. But maybe let's not, uh, like, you know, it's better that if they do not remain at the end of the record that says they conceded the highest number of goals in Reliance Youth Foundation tournament. There's a quick ball forward now. And it's again created away for a throw in. Quickly sends it behind. Sends it behind further to the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper takes a long one. It's a pretty dicey call for him to go for that shot because if the ball would have even curled by an inch in the center, it would have fallen. Uh, to the attacker of Arya Vidyamandir. And the flag's instantly gone up. He was actually a mile offside. So no doubts whatsoever. Sends another ball forward, but then he won't get much success with that. Takes an inside turn. The ball's fallen back for Bihal Arya Vidyamandir for the first time again in the second half. For the first time, actually. Not for the first time again. So it was Ali Hussein Khan who got the 12th goal. And now they are on the lead again. They are definitely onside. The flag has stayed down. Another chance comes up, and they get number 13. It's a baker's dozen now. And Chobaga School have all the reasons to celebrate. Wherein Behala, Arya Vidyamandir will not just frown profusely, but they will be keeping their heads low in dungeon. Uh, they are right now at the receiving end of some serious, serious heat from the men in blue. And they do not have a response to the same. Even though they have been better than the first half, but Somewhat at the end of the day, the quotient feels all the same. This was a ball. It was a phenomenal ball and equally brilliant run. Saw the goalkeeper off his line. Simply had a very clear idea of where the goal was and tucked it back home. It was so ill Mandal with the 13th goal again. He's already scored before. Now the long ball. Launched forward, the goalkeeper comes out. Eventually, the flag has gone up. Couldn't time his run again. And there's a change happening. It's a very interesting change here. So, Chobaga High School wants to change their goalkeeper. They're just allowing everybody some playing time. The kind of lead that they have, it's overwhelmingly massive. So, they brought on a new goalkeeper in place. And we'll also get him some game time. Sends another ball forward. Quickly connects and receives it. And they have acres of space to go forward. Surges again. Chobaka High School searching for their 14th now. It was Govinda Chakraborty, the new goalkeeper, who came in place of Devrat Sarkar. Still have the ball. Sends it forward. The defender couldn't collect it. The ball bobbled up. The goalkeeper came off the line, but it was a bit too awkward for the player to actually f uh, deploy a full forced header. And at the end of the day, it was a comfortable collection for the Castilian. He eventually rolls out of play now.
quickly stitches together a ball sends it forward desperate attempt to send it forward fine touch however he'll have to concede the possession now Bihal Arya Vidya Mandir for the first time they're on the surge but he had to brief not one but two defenders in the process he's eventually he almost got the ball there but at the end of it all Bihal uh, Chobaga School manages to get the ball back they have another shooting chance takes it oh rattles the woodwork oh simply brilliant from them Not a chance. The question is, can they break free from there? Sends the ball forward. Quickly stitches a brilliant piece of work. But this time the flag has gone up. Well, 22 goals have been scored so far in the first two. And we are now remaining with the final 19 minutes of the contest. That was a foul throw there. So it'll have to be retaken and have to be retaken by Chobaga High School. And it's a change happening for Chobaga. That is number 11 coming out and number 5 going out. We'll quickly try and confirm the substitution, of course. Another foul throw this time taken by Chauga. It's Chaubaga 2. It's a reach throw basically because of the substitution that happened. There's a chance, there's a ball that was sent forward by Chobaga School. They have the required numbers up front. But that's a confirmation of the change. Ayan Mahato went out, Sekri Han came in. So now the corner there for Chobaga High School. And they utilize it, only time will say that. opportunity for them to get a shot on target sends it but eventually repelled away there's acres of space for the attackers to come back again they want to test the goalkeeper from range but this time overpowered the shot sailed just inches above the woodwork And takes a long range there. There's a chance for Chobaga High School to stitch together a few crucial passes, but eventually gives away the ball. There's a chance for Chobaga and they've taken away the ball. He's numerically overwhelmed for sure, but then he's got a fine run and there's a tug. The referee's blown his whistle for sure, but he says that it's a free kick at the end of the day. For Bihar Arya with Yamanda, not a penalty. But Chobaga has the ball back. And now they would like to drive forward from there. They'd like to extend their lead further and further. Does them a world of good at the end of the day, especially in a league format of the game. When your goal difference is on the higher side, well, definitely it's quite high. But still, takes a shot from range here, but this time comfortable collection for the goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. 
and there's a chance. So Shobaga High School again, this time they converge from the left. Their attackers at the end of the day got the ball, takes the shot, but straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. So no harm done. Sends the ball forward. Chance there for him, some shooting space ahead of him. But he was unable to utilize that. The referee didn't blow the whistle, so the game still very much on. But then Chobaga couldn't use the chance that fell their way. They still have some space ahead of them. Sends another cross. There's a player at the far right, takes the shot, but deflected away. But the flag, any which ways, went up. Here's a long ball now. There's a chance for Behal Arya Vidya Mandir to get to the end of it, but they won't. The goalkeeper ensuring. And it keeps the clean sheet intact. Another long ball has been sent. There is a lot of space ahead of him, but the and it's a goal given. It initially felt that they uh, stood all together. He's taken a hurt in the process. And it's goal number 14. We weren't really sure that what exactly was happening because all the players almost came to a standstill. And this was the knock as well and the goal. So it's 14-0 now in favour of Chobaga High School. But in Behal Arya Vidya Mandir, despite all the resolute resolve that they have shown so far in this half, they still conceded four. And this is the 23rd goal of the day, with nine goals coming in the first game as well. So two games, and we have witnessed 23 goals so far. A fine piece of run there from Chobaga again. Sends it across from the left. Again, some chance there. Some space as well. And a recent piece of momentum, but this time the goalkeeper comes off his line and collects it, puts an end to the affair. It's all the same story so far. They collect the ball and they deposit at the feet of the Chobaga players. Takes a shot from distance, but there's a bit too much power then to his liking. Felt that Bihal Arya Vidya Mandir will be able to stitch something from this attack, but evidently they won't. The Shobaga keeps on coming back at them. And a free kick has been given in a very, very, pretty dangerous position, to be honest.
Here's a chance for them. Go for a free kick. And probably try and extend their lead to a 15 goal lead now. Goes for the free kick. The goalkeeper pulls up a stunning save at the end of the day to ensure that the score remains locked at 14 0. Possession given away way too easily now. And pretty simple for Chobaga at the moment. They do not want to push harder. Ball's fallen back for Chobaga. Crosses it in. They're taking all the time they want because they know they have the lead. Not just a lead, they have a 14 goal lead. Pretty feeble effort at the end of the day. We have the ball there. The ball is back in possession of Chobaga. And they want some space. Even if the player would have got there, it would have been deemed offside because he's way ahead of the line. And the flag has eventually gone up. Sends the ball forward, the goalkeeper will comfortably collect it. No harm done again. Chobaga comes on knocking, another cross comes flying from that far right. That goes straight into the straight away from everyone, even the attacker as well. A long range effort and slowly goes away. Now sends the ball to the right. No harm done again. And the ball's rolled out of possession. Sends across. Will effort come on the goal bound? There's some shooting space for sure, but then finally crowded over. There's still some time. A shot takes and deflected away by the defender. Ball still remains in control. Sh opportunity there. It felt that he'll head at home, but eventually the resultant shot doesn't. Another chance. Then couldn't stitch that final pass that would have allowed the player who was much more clear on goal
There's another ball being sent forward. And they utilize this effort. Oh, there was a push and a tug, but he's got back on his feet. He wants the ball. The referee says, stay on the game. But this time, the goalkeeper will comfortably collect it. Now he has a chance again for Chobaga School there. Tries to send it forward. We have a player forward, but it seems slightly offside, and as expected, the flag has gone up. In the final three minutes of the contest, not much has been out there, and the referee points uh, gives away a free kick there in favor of this is a golden opportunity. Takes that shot and eventually breaks the deadlock. Kind of a deadlock because they have been scoring in such repeated occasions that. It's felt like a barren spell for that last 20 minutes. Last two minutes of the game coming up, and we have seen 15 goals so far in the game, and all scored and all scored by Chobaga High School. And the ball's back in Chobaga's favor, and. They like to play it back and forth. There's not much remaining in this contest. They are playing together those easiest of passes because they know that the game has not just been won, but the game has been won pretty emphatically. The final 10 seconds of the contest, it's 15-0 now. One minute of additional time given. But there's a lot of space here for Chobaga School. The goalkeeper gets beaten. But the defender does enough to make it a much difficult angle for the striker to shoot at.
there's been a pretty lopsided encounter. I guess the score itself says it all. And the referee eventually blowing the whistle, putting Vihal Arya with Yamandir out of their misery. It's a 15 goal margin that they have been defeated. Chobaga High School will walk away with the bragging rights. By 15 goals. And Bihal Arya Vidya Mandir will have work to do. We'll shortly return for another contest, another cracker of a contest coming up. In a very short span of time. Till then, stay posted, stay tuned. Take a video. 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 Take a video.